Hi everyone, welcome back. And today we're gonna to be looking at this one kid. This is about three years ago. I didn't even know that this was even made. But this individual, his name is CJ Pearson. And apparently he got, like, it's insane how this kid was 13 and was talking about Obama when I wasn't even really into politics or none of that. But, you know, I did see how when Obama got you know, elected president, everybody was like, oh, our president's black. Yeah, yeah, we got a black man in office. I look straight and people would ask me, am I happy that we have a black man in office? I looked at him in, in their face and be like, nothing's going to change. Our neighborhoods, this black, you know, uh, uplifting black seats, nothing's going to change with him. Why? Because he has to toe the party line. And the party line for the Democrats for basically ever since they came into existence was to keep blacks down. So why all of a sudden, just because he's black, you know, you're going to see our lives improve? <laughs> yeah, they're not going to improve. And I was given so much shit for that. So much. You're like, oh my God, Leah, you just hate yourself. You have so much internal, like, hatred for yourself. I'm like, no, I'm just a realist. And, you know, I'm an idealist too, but... I know my idealistic uh, uh, notions about how the world should work. I know they'll never, ever come to fruition. I know that. Because in reality, human beings are very complex. And the seven deadly sins, <laughs> the greatest one that does so many people uh, injustice and causes a lot of pain and hurt is envy and greed. Period. I 100% believe that. Envy and greed. Okay, greed was what will lead to murder, will lead to, um, you know, uh, sloth. It will lead to a whole bunch of things. And you will also do the same thing. So, no. <laughs> you can call me all the names in the book. But ultimately, nothing ever changes. And simply because you have a black guy as the, uh, the figurehead of this movement, it wasn't going to change either. Nothing, nothing of substance improved the lie, the lives of black Americans while Obama was in office. Not one thing. But without further ado, let's go listen to him and um, see what he has to say and then react to it. Hi guys, I'm CJ Pearson. I just want to take the time to be real with y'all. I, I want to be really, really real. And I, and I want to level with you because I am honestly sick and tired of hearing Donald Trump accused of racism by people who haven't done a fraction of what he's done for black people. I am sick and tired of it. They don't actually believe he's a racist. They don't actually believe he's a white supremacist. And if they do, if the Democrats who accuse him of being those things really do believe that he is those things that they claim he is, and I think they really need to confront the history of their party for a quick second. The Democratic Party was literally founded upon the bedrock of racism. Found and then here's the thing, too. A lot of people might not know this, but they also wanted slavery to extend past the Missouri line. These people were pushing that slavery be adopted all across the fucking nation. They might not have been known as the Democrats, but they were fucking known as the Confederates. Hope that ring a fucking bell for y'all. Where were the Confederates? They were, they were um, mostly, um, uh, what's what? They were mostly in, in the South. I can't have like heavily. The demographics of them were in the South, while the Union was up north. Not to say, and here's the thing: like a lot of people want to get, like, look, I don't know how many fucking times we need to tell you this. All right, Republicans were never about. And, and what I mean by like helping slaves uh, or, or helping blacks, they weren't about giving handouts. What they were about is that everyone has freedom to choose their paths, okay? And you can't do that as being a slave. This isn't to say they actually cared about you, but it was a fundamental ideology that they believe that every man and woman is free to choose their life choices. That's it. 
The Democrats thought differently. The Confederates thought differently. They would hold all sorts of little, you know, science experiments to justify how blacks needed to be under control, going as far as saying how we have our brain capacity, our brain size is less than that of white people. So therefore we need to be cattle and herd it and told how to live our lives. And who were to be, who were going to be the ones to set those rules and how we should live their li- our lives? They, they felt like they were the creator that would tell us how to live our lives. Republicans thought differently. Okay. Now that you are free, their whole objective was to make sure that you were free. And that's all they cared about. Now, when it comes to trying to uh, get a job, it's going to be competitive. It's going to be competitive. You're not going to get a fucking um, a handout or a level up just because you came from um, a very bad circumstances or a harder circumstances in life. Sorry to break this to you, but Irish people up in the North had it bad too. Italians had it bad too. So all this, all what was made possible for you is to have an even playing field. That's it. No special privileges, no nothing. And so many of y'all blacks today, that's what y'all want. Y'all feel like y'all are entitled to special privileges because of the past. How long is this going to fucking continue? Is in 2050, you're going to be saying the same thing and 30 on 3000 and 50, you're going to be, um, and and 3050, you're going to be saying the same thing. When does it fucking end? But Democrats never had your side. They literally evolved from the Confederates. Told you ass that you then can't vote um, due to, you know, I guess not being educated enough. I guess you want to call that a poll tax or whatever. Then they instilled um, Jim Crow laws. They also instilled uh, segregation, making sure that you can be at the back of the bus. And this all happened where? In the South, which was what? Heavily controlled by Democratic rule. Now it's controlled mostly by Republicans. And I don't hear as much shit happening in those places than I do in Chicago and all these Democrat ran cities. Y'all can sit here and tell me all you want. Well, it's the Republican states. I don't base things off of Republican states or if a state is Republican or Democrat, I base it off the cities. I choose the city in which I want to live in based off the politics and the policies. And when you just look at it, the red states that have the highest crime, that have the most taxes, that are just uh, filled with subpar education, they are all ran by Democrats, okay? Just like in the South, all the slavery that was done was all under Democrat control. You cannot try to erase history. It is written in the books. And no matter how, how much you want to get rid of that stain, it will be etched in the books forever. You can sit here and try to say that that mentality or or the party switched. No, the party never switched because the mentality, the more you guys have control, the mentality starts coming back and reassuring us that you guys never uh, changed your ideology. You just camouflaged it. But the more power you get, the more those layers of camouflage starts to be peeled back and reveals who you really are. The same party that wanted slaves to do their bidding, to live in poverty, to live like peasants while they who have the money live like kings and queens, aristocrats. But going back to this guy. On the bedrock of hate, they were literally the party of white supremacy. They are the party of the KKK, the party of segregation, the party that literally fought to put my great grandmother to the back of the bus. They did that. That is fact. That is truth. Read a history book and and you will know and you will read all about it. Democrats have done more to put black people down than they have ever done to lift us up. They did it by design through welfare. 
They do it today, and if you look at the cities of Chicago, Flint, Michigan, and so many more, you look at the conditions of black people in Democrat-ran cities, and you see black people living in poverty. You see black people living without hope. You see black people living side by side by rats, like you see in the city of Baltimore. Yep. And if you want to Say it ain't true. And this, it might be a whole bunch of black people who get offended by this. But the truth hurts. The truth hurts. I have never seen welfare get people out of poverty. Not one. I've seen parents who raise their kids on poverty. And then those kids say, nah, I don't want that. And they use their, their, um, their talents to get out of the hood. Those people, I promise you they're not on welfare. I promise you that. The Ben Carsons and the, even LeBron fucking James. They're not on welfare. Welfare never, ever, ever elevates you out of poverty. It keeps you in it. It's me and tell me that Democrats actually care about black people. That I'm confused. Because I see no evidence of such a thing. None. When I look at what the president's done, I see record low black unemployment. I see a hundred million dollar increase in HBCU funding. I see a president who has overseen the creation of opportunity zones to spur economic investment in majority black communities, in America's inner cities, bringing hope and promise and jobs to the communities that need it most. He ain't lying. Communities that have been used and abused by Democrats ever since their founding. That is what this president has done. A president who has done more for black people than any other president in modern history, including the first black one. Yeah. These are just facts. These are just truth. This is not conjecture nor opinion. These are simply matters of fact. Democrats don't really care about black people because if they did, they wouldn't only talk about black issues when it was time for votes to be cast. They would actually do something for black people all the time, not just when it was convenient for them. And again, if Democrats really wanna call someone a white supremacist or a bigot, Maybe they should look within their own ranks. Maybe they should address the fact that Hillary Clinton called black people super predators. Maybe they should address the fact that Joe Biden signed into law or advocated for the, the Clinton crime bill that took more black fathers out of the home than, well, slavery. It's a sad fact, a sad reality, but it's all truth. Guys, if Donald Trump is a racist, I don't even, I can't even imagine what Democrats yeah. At all. Yep. And that and these are just facts. Thank you. Yeah, I 100% agree. If Donald Trump, if Donald Trump is a racist, if that's so, that's how you feel, then tell me, tell me, what do you call someone who wanted, who, who basically started a war? Civil war that we had, it wasn't shot, the sh first shot fired, it wasn't by a Republican. It was by the Confederates, Democrats. They are the ones who started the first, who shot the first, um, the first uh, bullet and killed someone. That led us to the Civil War in which slavery was a factor in, in why, you know, Civil War was happening, but it wasn't the only factor. These people wanted to preserve their way of life, okay? Not only that, KKK, party of the KKK, the party of lynching, the party that um, pretty much put in place and wrote the legislation for the Fugitive Slave Act. And, the, you know, the Republicans, they did turn a blind eye to that. They were so much more concerned about being, you know, compromising, 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 even though they were compromising their own morals and ethics. They knew this was wrong. They knew this was wrong. But I guess when it came to preserving democracy, we can violate people's rights, right? You know, yes, the Republican Party does have some responsibility and being culpable and making this happen but at some point at some point you guys this is with everything at some point you gotta say enough is enough and say fuck it we we compromised because we didn't want to cause 
any wars. We didn't want to start any fight. You best believe this is the thing about conservatives. I will say this, and then I'm going to go back. They won't start any fights. But when they are put up against the wall and the first shots have been fired, oh, they come with a vengeance. They are not ready. They know good and well they ain't losing. It's like a bully, these Democrats. They will push and push and push and push and think that you won't stand up against them. Until one day you push a little bit too far and then someone gets killed. That's when all, everything will be unleashed. And all the rage that had been packed in and stored and pushed down. Oh, it resurfaces and it comes with a vengeance. But I digress. Then also the party of uh, KKK, the party of segregation, the party of, uh, you know, making sure, I mean, it's part of segregation, but making sure black people was, were at the back of the bus, making sure that the um, military was segregated until it was, I think, um, it was a Democrat party member who did, a uh, president who did decide to finally desegregate that, but it wasn't because of they actually cared about blacks. It was because of optics. That's what it was. They didn't want the Republicans to be the first one to desegregate. They didn't want to be, um, the Republicans to be the one who um, get the win for civil rights, even though they were the party that wanted all of that first. Even with lynching, as of you guys know, um, Biden trying to take a, a win on having, being you know, the president to pass legislation to outlaw lyn- a lynching. Murder is murder, bitch. There was no need for you to outlaw that. There's, there's already a crime for that. There's already a penalty for that. Lynching is still under murder. You just wanted fucking brownie points to try to erase what your party was a part of. Your party started that. Okay? If y'all call Trump a racist, what the fuck do you call a party that did all of that? What the fuck do you call that? I don't want to know what you want to call that. If, 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 if Trump can just say things, I'm, you know, I'm not going to lie. He said things that are a little bit, you know, out of, and I wouldn't say out of character. He could have said things a different way. But a lot of stuff that he said was true. He just didn't like the way he fucking said it. And if you get offended by that, and therefore want to call him a racist, what do you call a party that has a history over 400 years of doing this to black people? What do you fucking call that? Hmm? But, you know, hopefully one day black people wake up. I don't think so. The only way they'll wake up is if they'll be forced to fucking... Uh, if welfare went away and they'll be fucking forced to work, yeah, that's the only reason why they wouldn't vote, vote for Democrat. That's the only reason why they will get out of voting for Democrat. But out of sheer principle, if every, with everything I know, I will never, ever vote for a Democrat. Never. I'm glad Tulsi Gabbard is now, you know, unaffiliated with Democrats because and honestly, I have no idea why, why she would, would ever be associated with them if she actually knew their past. And I think the Democrats have done a good job trying to erase that from people's memories. And that's the only reason why so many people sign up to be Democrat. You're better off calling yourself an independent. I'm an independent. I'm not a Republican, but I definitely um, tend to uh, vote for conservatives. But off a of sheer principle, I will never fucking, fucking vote for a Democrat. It will be an embarrassment to my ancestors, they would, I, I'm pretty sure they would turn over in their grave if they knew that our people are now voting for the people that actually kept them in, in chains, that put them down, that kept them from prospering. I find that be, to be a disservice and a disgrace to my own fucking heritage. Yeah, I said it. And if you vote for Democrat and you're black, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be fucking ashamed of yourself.
You're not, they're not fucking democratic at all. They have twisted the word of that meaning to think that because they are the Democrats that they represent democracy. They do not represent democracy. They represent supremacy. That's everything. Like the boys said, it was literally their bedrock, their foundation of the ideology of that party. So I will vote for people who A, have a fucking backbone. And if you're a Democrat and you have a backbone, I would behoove you to change your shit to independent if you ever want to get my vote, period. But I will look more into these independents too because they seem to be leading a lot when it comes to their policies towards Democrat. So yeah, I look at all of them. And a lot of these rhinos are like that too. So yeah, you have to look more into the person's policy and their character. I am a conservative and I will vote accordingly, but I will never vote for a Democrat. But anyways, you guys have a nice day. I'm going to go off and finish. I don't want to say finish. Um, I'm going to be making my website. Hopefully, uh, I have it up. I don't know, maybe by next year, but I'm doing it all from scratch. And, um, once it's done, I will present it for you guys so you guys can support me in my endeavors. Um, so with that, have a good weekend and please, please play, pray for Arizona. I really do think we need to have a revote. Like I really do. That shit is just crazy what's going on out there. If not, and it does turn blue, well, I guess I'll just have to wait for a uh, you know, uh, um, uh, interest rates to go down and sell my fucking house because I'm not going to stay in a state that's turned blue. That's a, nope. That's like a disaster. Never in a million years that I would think that, um, that Arizona would turn blue, but I, you know, there's plenty of other states out there for me to choose to choose from. And Missouri is red. So, um, and where I live, uh, I don't like St. Louis County. That whole entire place is a shithole, maybe except for Clayton. But <laughs> maybe except for Clayton. But like St. Louis County, mm, Democrat ran. It's like a difference. Night night and day between St. Louis County and like um, West County and St. Charles. So I'm like, bitch, you won't need you won't be seeing me up in no blue fucking county. Nah. But anyways, y'all have a nice day. Bye.